Hey there, Andy here. I'm in my garage because it's the only place I can get some peace and quiet right now. Everybody's busy and doing stuff in the house. You know what it's like. Anyway, yesterday, or my yesterday, I don't know when it is you're watching this video. Uh, my yesterday, I posted a video about negotiation and I said, don't get beaten down too much and be careful when you negotiate. So I'd negotiated this deal. I'd come down, I don't know, probably about five or something and it made sense. Now, when I finished this job, I was expecting to pick something up in the area, but it got a bit sticky. Um, anyway, I get a phone call from a guy who I've done some work for before. And he said, where are you? I'm down here. He said, I've got a job a bit near you. He said, can you do it for like um, 60 quid? I said, I can't, I can't do it for 60 quid. I said, I'll do it for 80. He said, can't go to 80. He said, I can't go to 80. He said, I can do, I can do 70. And I thought about it. Now, do you remember me putting that video up about pensions? I've just had my first pension statement, incidentally. Um, 62.50, I thought, what's, I only put 50 quid in. Government give you £12.50. So I thought, that little three, I'll bid 73. So I wanted 80. He would kind of go to 70. And I said, can you do 73? And I thought, extra three quid can go in my pension. And he gone, yeah, OK, I'll, I'll do 73. I went, thank you very much. Now, I negotiated on that because it got me nearly all the way back home, which is brilliant. And it got me to a place where I might have picked up another job to take me all the way home. So it made sense on that occasion to negotiate. And I thought, well, how much negotiation do I actually do? I know I don't get like beaten up with a negotiation, but I come down a little bit when I need to and when it makes sense. And I'm going to keep a little list of every time that I negotiate. Did I negotiate on that job? What did I want for it? What did they offer me? And where did we end up to? And I thought that would be really interesting. And I would suggest that you do the same. Let's keep a list of when we negotiate. And let's also be a little bit more analytical. And with a bit of hindsight, we go, was it a good idea to negotiate? Was that a good bit of negotiation? Or was that a bad bit of a negotiation? Like, did I end up in the back of beyond? Um, would I do the same negotiation next time? See where I'm going with it. And, and I'm just interested in, how much negotiation I do, because I didn't think that I did very much of it. Maybe I do a bit more. And I think the negotiations that I do make sense. I don't think I'm getting beaten up for it, but it'd be really good to analyse it. Um, just w w whatever your thoughts are on that one, um, over to you. So simple message. If you need to negotiate, negotiate. Don't get beaten up. Don't be afraid to say, look, thank you very much. But on this occasion, that doesn't quite work for me. But my offer stands if you want it. Do you know the kind of thing I'm saying? So let's work out how much negotiation we do. And does it actually work when we do? They won't all work. Sometimes you go, oh, I wish I'd never done that. And other times you go, that was a work of art, that bit of negotiation. Let's, let's see where it ends up. You know, let's see if we can all make a bit more money together. Anyway, stay lucky. I'll see you another time.